gonna work on countering the Chimata. First one we'll do is an opposite side scenario. Left versus right, right versus left, okay? This, this one is simple. This is actually my favorite counter in today's judo. Okay? Guy comes in good Uchimaka, coming all the way. Yep. Okay? What we're gonna do is you have to you have to already step to the side. You can't let him elevate you. If he elevates you and you get your hip in the air, you're gone. Okay? So the first thing is you have to stand your ground, but move your hip to the side. Okay? And you're gonna step over his butt and steer your hands. Okay? With momentum, it's actually a lot easier. Okay? Guy comes in a Shimada, you slide off of it, step off of it. And this, this motion has to be instinctive. You push down on his head or his neck. So you should try to almost bend him in like an upside down U shape. That's the idea. Okay? Here. Here. Okay. This is really important. Hooking his leg. Hook it. Hook it. This one got it? So we do it right. Everything's the same. You start to step over. He anticipates this. He's felt this before. He's a master. He knows everything. He starts to stand up and come out. As he comes out, it's a pet. Now watch. I want you to pay attention to this like seesaw movement. Okay? He's doing what she wants to. Okay? I start imagining. Starting to starting to step over. So I'm starting to step over. He feels it, he starts to stand up. That's the right time to foot sweep. Okay? Or I like to call it back sweep. So the guy comes in and chimata, he's coming out. Steer. This is violent, guys. I'm not I'm I'm being nice, but this is, this is violent. You have to really steer. Okay? I, I, I want to see more of that. You have to pin this to your side. You, you hook, you start to step over. When I step over, the guy starts to stand up and come out. Back sweep. All principles of Ashiwaza apply here. Okay? Look, you're, you're, you're setting him up. You're bringing his foot to his other foot. The best time to put sweep. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Hook. Yeah. We're winding him up, and then he's gonna. The only way to come out of this is to stand up and then unhook your leg. You don't let him off the hook, we go through him. Okay? No. I don't want to see. When people try to like do any sort of ashiwaza, they lift this hand up high. Okay? I'm not really sure. I think he feels more comfortable. Okay? When you guys do this, right? You start to wind him up. You keep this hand pinned in, and you go, and you go through him. By giving him, by lifting your hand up high, you're kind of giving him balance back. You know what I mean? You want to contort him. So you're, the idea is try to bring his heel to his head with the step over. He feels uncomfortable because now look, all his balance is on the side of his foot. He's going to try to steer him back up. When he meets foot to foot, you back sweep him. And, and but see, if I have this hand up, there's balance. If this is contorted, pushing in. I have no balance. Okay? Come on, all right, cool. Come in. Okay, good. Okay. Get out of the way. Steer. Hook. You start to step over. He comes up, stands up. Okay? Uh, <laughs> Not so nice in the tournament, though. I'll show it right here. I'm now getting up to you. Okay? Back over. Peanuts can see. Yep. Guy comes in, left in Shimano. Right, he's get your hip out of the way. Steer, hook, step over, as you, yep. Are you lefty for real? Oh, there's actually, I feel more left than down. Right. Comes out, okay. Steer, sweep. Okay, it's gonna feel, should feel natural, but one thing of note. Does someone have a question? They're saying he pulled. Oh, he pulled. No. <laughs> I think so. Uh, come here. You don't want to be so. You have to bring this treading foot. 
Uh, you have to keep it engaged. You don't want to be so. Someone help me out here. What's the word I'm looking for? Wide stance. Wide stance. What's that? Spread out. Spread out. Uh, extend it. Thank you. Who said that? Yeah, that's the word I was looking for. Extend it. You know what? But then now, when you try to back sweep, you're almost leaping onto his uchimata. Now you can just now you can just finish. Doing it. Yeah. You have to bring your treading leg close. So your hips are engaged. You guys got it? Any questions? Yes. Oh, sorry, Charlie. Just make sure. Are you sweeping both legs? Or? Oh yeah. Yeah. I'm Good sweeping question. his the one the leg I hook right. So I hook this leg. I get and then kind of like an sort of thing. I'm hooking this leg. As I step over, he starts to straighten up. And I take this hooked leg and knock him into his other leg. Exactly. Yep. And his arm. We step, we step, we step, we step. yourself to the technique. You move your foot back and you open your opponent up. Okay? I want you to start with your foot planted back here. Later on, you're, you're, all you're going to do is swing and go. Okay? But for now, plant. Okay? You're going to take your foot and stick it above your opponent's belt on his stomach. Not on his chest, on his stomach. Facing the direction of the tamoy. Open him up. Okay, here. Up. Come back everybody in. See my direction of my foot? <laughs> Lefties, you're throwing over your right shoulder. That's very important. Righties, you're throwing over your left shoulder. 
you're gonna the, your toe or your the, your foot placement, if it's proper, should be like your cheat sheet to the throw. This isn't like your this isn't like Street Fighter where a guy just goes whoop 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 like over your head. It's not it's not like that. It's not you can't throw the guy over the wrong shoulder. It's not gonna work because he can post that with his hands. Okay, whatever hand has his sleeve is the direction of the throw because now you can, you're going to tuck, you're going to start turning to the side, right, spinning, getting crisscrossing torsos. Goal is to get your head between his legs if you can, okay? Steering with your hands and you're going to take his sleeve hand and shove it into his legs or into his hip. Either way, any way to get his hand out of the equation so he can't post to stop the throw, okay? So you guys can get, I want you guys to get a little lower just so it's easier for uh, you guys to pick your leg up, okay? Later, I want you guys to swing. And now, open them up, leg back, leg up, okay? I don't want you to land this far out. I'm just landing this far out for, to talk to you guys. But I want your toes point for lefties to your right, righties to your left, okay? I want you to land, when you land, come here. I want you to try to land underneath his torso at a crisscross, okay, in a leg press position. If, you're, if you land with your legs straight, you can't elevate them, okay? You want to try to keep your knee to your chest. Bent. That way, now when you're spinning and you do your, your steer and leg press, it falls off to the right side, okay? If your leg's straight, you can't There's kick. elevation. Same side, Tomonagi. That was opposite side. Now it's same side. You guys the same side as the next year. Yep. Good. Okay, now, you guys have to pay attention to my left arm, my power hand, and my left leg. I'm not telling you to cross your feet. I'm not telling you to cross your feet. This is crossing your feet. I mean, you can all see that. What I'm telling you to do is generate movement, and this isn't crossing your feet. See how far apart my feet are? That's not crossing your feet. This is crossing your feet. And I get asked a lot, why aren't you crossing your No, not really, because I'm, I'm moving in a circle and my feet are already so far apart to begin with. Okay? You're whipping your opponent in a circle towards your shoulder. Your hand motion is this direction. At the same time, you almost act as if you're going to do some sort of you know, Osoto Gary or Uchimata or some forward technique by stepping across with your bead leg. Okay? Now you're just going to fall in and spin. I'm going to break it down, but that's the movement. Spin, to make your opponent spin with you. Turn to your shoulder, step across, not across your feet. Step across in a circular motion. You gain momentum. As soon as this foot hits, swing your foot okay, into the target area. Now, swing, okay? We swing. And now, with this one, this one's a little different, and I prefer this one over the other Tobinagi. So we just kind of, you know, let him go. We already have so much momentum from that circular motion. As we're coming in, we take his sleeve hand, take his sleeve hand, and, we, and, we, and we're gonna take our head, and we're gonna follow his sleeve hand past his ankle, or we're gonna push it past both his feet. And we keep spinning, keep spinning, and come out the other side. You guys see that? So we build all that momentum, circular momentum up. We spin, steer, spin, 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 spin. Obviously, you're not using this back foot. That's not the idea. You should have some momentum. I'm just going slow. Slow pushes past both feet. Bring your head with this arm. Keep spinning. And once you get to this point where your head is beneath his legs, that's when you elevate and whip. Whip. I whip my head beneath my opponent. Come in. Uh, stand straight up. Here. This is where you guys want to get. Once you get 
here, that's when you whip your hands and elevate your leg. Okay. Here, here. If he's already falling, if he's already on this foot, okay, fine, just throw him over with regular tomonagi. But same side, they're already so extreme, you have to generate that spinning motion. And then when you do, you come out the wrong side and whip. Right. Oh. Your right hand oh. This is really, really important. You just can't come out and you just can't come out and grab with your right hand. Because if you come out and grab with your right hand first, uh, right. Hand right. If you're finding a good sail guy or you know a good maki tomi guy, and you already have your right hand done, now you just, you just gave me an easy sleep. You know what I mean? You can't do that. I you have you need to have your sleeve hand. Done, right? Or especially if you're now, if you come out and grab this first, right? I'm trying to, I'm trying to grab my sleeve. But, and I, and that, now you're following me. And now I can do one hand. Tell me what you say, me. Come down your back. Sue me, you know what I mean? It's easy for me to suck myself in tight. Okay? So what you gotta do is step against our righty. Okay? Stand right, stand right. You stand straight. Okay? But you can do that too. You can come out and get the sleeve. Yeah, if they, if they try to get the sleeve. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fine. Or, you can come out and get the sleeve. And that's great. You need to lose your tricep when you pull it. Now that way, you can still grab it, still grab it, still grab it. Yep. Kill it. That way I can't put my hand up. Yes. Now, and you don't let me get my hand up. Because now you're winning the match. You're winning. If I have this, right, and you have that, we're even. If I rip away and come high, I'll come here. Now I can dictate movement. I can do whatever I want. Okay? So your goal, your two goals are A, get to the feet of the E, this is also, if not as important, more important. Don't let me grab your bit with my power hands. Okay? So you guys stand, uh, stand right here. Come out left. Right here. It's really important. You gotta remember this. You have to practice all the time. Almost everyone is gonna reach here. When they reach, you come up and you grab it. You can see it. But still hold this. Still hold this. I'm, higher. I'm, like, I'm gonna act like I grab this. And then you come up, you make a scene, grab it. At the same time, you move this foot down. So you come away. So you move. Yeah, see that's it. See how I'm missing your body? It's like a matter of. Okay. Help me. Help me. Help me. Five minutes, I'm gonna come out with Okay, yeah, exactly. That Kochi, yep. You can do Sumige sheet from there, you can do Makikomi from there, or you can just reach, kill the hands, you know, and then try a grip and do whatever you want. The guy takes a Shido, you're winning by one Shido, and he hops on your hip, boom. You know? All you gotta do is get up by a squat. Once you get up by a squat, you're good. You know? But you need to, against a right, righty versus righty, you don't reach with your right hand first at this lapel. Instead, if you're gonna reach with your right hand, reach cross grip. That way I cut, you can just grab the swing, you can kill it, and now you can go Marte Shinagi, you can do Marte Shinagi, you can, you know Sore? Sore Sore Kamigashi, you can do Sore this way, you know? Or, you can just, here, here it comes, and then you can push back, yep, but you gotta stay here, you gotta stay here, back, here, grab, yep, kill it, come off, and then keep it down. Nothing I do brings his hand back up. Yeah. And now you're winning. Now you're claiming me. You can just come in for whatever throws you want. Yeah. Exactly. You don't let me grab your lapel with my right hand. Okay. Make sure they don't block their grip with their right hand like this. Kind of, so they block it up. Yeah. You can do that, but what a lot of players do is what a lot of guys will do is they'll fake it they're gonna go for some grip, right? When the guy when the guy asks them to say you're gonna block my high grip, you just take the sleeve. You take, I just take whatever you give me. And then I kill your sleeve and I push into you, you know? Or Act like I'm gonna come out, and you know how sometimes that will go two on one. Sort of, yeah, I'm out. Sort of, I act like I'm gonna come out and get that, 
right? And now you can, yeah, now I see you don't give me the two I want, and I just come up to sleep. You know, some guys cover up their lapels. A lot of guys cover up their lapel like this, you know? So you can't grab it. I'll take your sleeve. I'll take your sleeve. You know? So sometimes you're going to have to take your phone giving you. That's most important. Because Jiro is action reaction. You understand? In the yeah, okay. Do it again. Do say Nagi. Yep. You do your coach is Sutemi. If the guy comes off of coach is Sutemi, you go back into say Yeah, 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 yeah. And go back and forth. And then if you say Nagi or coach is Sutemi, you can give me Pono Soto. Oh, so and you're gonna crash down on the shoulder hard. So you can, it's all this way. One is coaching, two through reaping, and one's outer reaping. But every time you come in for a you your tight upper body. Yeah, tight, tight, tight. So now do your, do your coaching, I step out, you're in for the yep, I come off, you come back up, and then you do a soda. Yeah. Hey, Thank you. 